Hello again, it's me, Abby, and today we're going to learn how to make a flying macaw model. So, to get started, you want some scrap cardboard, two shorter pieces and one long piece. You want to start by drawing out a wing with about a two centimetre tab on the end, which you'll fold over and actually use that to connect it to the body. So once you've cut that out, you can fold the end over and then draw around that on your second small piece of cardboard to get the basic mirror, mirror wing, basically. So you cut that one out as well, and then once you've cut it out, do the exact same thing, fold the tab over. Now you've got those, you want to draw out a side profile of a macaw, just the head, body and tail, it doesn't need any wings because obviously you've got those. So you want to cut that out. I find it easier to cut a basic shape and then go in with the finer detail around the beak later on. It's a little bit easier once there's less excess cardboard. Now you've got those, you can glue the wings on at about a third of the way down the, the body. I did one at a time because I couldn't hold them all together and stick it on all at the same time, so yeah. You could also staple them if you've got a stapler, I also don't have a stapler. So once that's dried, you can start painting it. I painted mine to be a scarlet macaw. So I started with the beak here, with the black and whites, and then went on to basically paint the little pink face, and then go in with block red for the body, tail, and lower under wing. I added some finer blue details just to the tail to add those blue feathers in as well. And then the eye, a big cartoon eye at the moon as well. And then once that side was dry, I basically did exactly the same on the other side. But first you want to do the top wing, add some red, then the yellow, and then the blue section at the end. So yeah, do exactly the same on the other side once this is dry. And then once it's dry, you want to poke a hole in, the, in between the wings on that body section. And then do the same on the end of each wing. You want to basically have two pieces of string that are about the length of the width of your wingspan of your macaw. So you poke each string through the end of the wing, through that hole you made, tie a knot so it secures it in place underneath, and then put both of those through the centre hole. And that is what's going to hold your wings up and help your macaw fly. To actually pull the second string through, I tied the first string onto it and then pulled that through so that both are through the same hole. You could make that easier by actually just poking two holes in to the macaw's body to hold those wings up. So there you go. And now it's ready to fly. I really enjoyed making this one and I hope you guys do too. You can see the final product here. Please do tag us in any creations that you make. And again, thank you very much for tuning in on Parrot Television. Share us, like us, and I'll see you again soon with our next creations.